Hi Scorpio, this is Eileen with your August 2019 Psychic Tarot card reading. And uh, let's see, you're starting the month of August with the Four of Wands card. And the Four of Wands is about celebrations for some of you. Some of you, it might be some kind of romantic celebrations. Some of you, oh, and by the way, this is a, a general reading. So some of these cards may resonate with you while others do not. If I'm doing a private reading, then I'm just focusing in on your circumstances. And I'm reading the meanings of the cards as well as tuning in on a psychic level. And the Four of Wands is talking about some of you Scorpios perhaps having some kind of little family celebrations perhaps, maybe a wedding or an anniversary party. Or for some of you, I'm feeling there could be so, some romantic things going on for you where someone's professing their love for you or wanting to make plans for the future with you also even perhaps an engagement taking place. <clears throat> Overall, this card has a lot of nice energy with it, and it's uh, it has a light feeling of love in the air. And so, and for some of you, this could just be a nice vacation that you take with loved ones or a loved one, and you're enjoying yourself and enjoying each other's company. It could be just celebrating your life and enjoying your life with your loved ones. So nice energy, good card to start out with. And then the next card you have is the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords, now the swords do relate to the air signs of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. But the Page of Swords, um, sometimes this does relate to receiving some kind of disappointing news. So some of you might get uh, feel like you've got a little setback in one way or another with something, finding out something's not coming through for you the way you wanted it to, or just a little bit of a disappointment about something. However, I get um, in this card that for some of you, this page of swords represents a person who's around you that's very jealous of you. They're very, um, how should I say this? I feel like they watch you. They observe you. This could be someone in your social circle, somebody who's somewhat of an acquaintance friend. Could be somebody at work that you work with. It could even be a relative but or neighbor, something like that. But this person pays attention to you because to them, now they come across, they pretend that everything's fine with them and they've got it together and they're doing well and all that sort of thing. But um, they, I feel like this person has deep-rooted insecurities. And when they look at you and observe you, you just look like you're doing a little better in your life than they are and they don't like it. Even This person might even have more money than you or a better job, but somehow you look happier than they, than they are. And so they're jealous of you. There's just something about you that just makes them mad. So, <laughs> but it does feel like it's jealousy. It's resentment and jealousy. You seem to be just, um, it's almost like, I feel like this person's always griping to themselves about their life, about whatever. I mean, no matter how good things get for this person, they're never satisfied. They're always complaining to themselves about something, like something's not good enough or somebody didn't give them all they wanted or something. There's always some kind of little gripe going on in their head that they're never really satisfied or happy with what they have. Uh, but I feel like on the surface, they act like they got it all going on for themselves and they're doing fine. But they've got these little resentments um, inside of themselves. Whereas you don't appear to let things bother you as much as life bothers them. So even though this person may or may not be better off than you financially or whatever, they don't like your your way of getting through life. You seem to just get over the bumps and move on and deal with things. And uh, I, I don't know. It's almost like you have a better attitude about things when you have setbacks or challenges or whatever. And they're very jealous of you. They resent you for that because they feel like you uh, are better off than them in one way, like you're happier than them. And they're very jealous 
Okay. Next card you have is the Magician. And this is a great card to have. You really got two cards in a row. You got the Magician and you have the World. Two major Arcana Destiny cards. These are fantastic cards and you've got them side by side. So, and then you've got two other major Arcana cards here. You've got some really good cards in your reading. And um, what you have with the Magician, the Magician is saying that you have everything inside of yourself that you need to succeed, to make your dreams come true, to make your plans, your dreams materialize. The thing, though, about the Magician, the Magician may have all the tools necessary to put something together and make something happen and, and create dreams into reality. Um, it, the, you have to, with the magician, what it's saying is that you really have to focus on what you want and be determined and go after those dreams and make plans and do the work that you have to do in order to accomplish your goals and your dreams. But you have what it takes to do this. However, you can't just wait for something to fall into your lap or wait for somebody to give you a break or whatever. It's like you have to find the ways to, um, to, to make things happen for yourself. But you've got what it takes. So this is a really good card. Very strong energy here. And then the next card is the world. Once again, the world is fantastic. This is about feeling on top of the world for a lot of you Scorpios that things are going well whether it's in your career, your personal lives, um, just maybe in your love life, you're feeling happy and enjoying a happy um, romantic relationship and it's encouraging you to bring out all of your creativity. I'm feeling for a number of you, you're just naturally very creative in different areas. And that's so some of you are actually doing things having to do with your um, innate abilities that are very creative and feeling alive because you are. It's making you feel like you're living from your own heart and soul. And so it's making you feel freer and more alive and more joy, joyfulness inside of yourself. And for some people, I'm feeling um, there's just I'm getting different scenarios for different people. Um, for some people, I'm feeling dance, I'm feeling other creative, uh, possibly something in the um, entertainment field, acting or something like that. Also, um, other areas of creating something, being very, very uh, creative in different areas, maybe designing something or making something, painting something, I'm not sure. Sewing, that just came to my head. Sewing, maybe somebody's... Um, designing and sewing clothing or some other things like that. I'm just getting a lot of creativity here and a number of you living your dreams, even if it's just part time in between working a regular job or something. Or you can be very creative even in your job, whatever that is. You can be working in a business environment and be very creative in the way that you do your job. But it's it's rewarding for you and it's making you feel like you're being your natural self. And that's the best way to be rather than being whatever people want you to be or whatever. And so, um, and I always advise everyone to learn about the law of attraction because when you feel free and prosperous and successful and like you're living your own dreams and living from your heart and soul, you help to create that as your reality. The, the doors of the universe will open up and deliver to you those um, circumstances that will make your dreams come true and have it where you are really living your true self. Uh, but these are great cards. I mean, you're, this energy is fantastic for you, Scorpio. So if you're not feeling like things are going well for you, the energy is there for you. So just... Practice learning about the law of attraction where you're feeling it, feeling prosperous, feeling successful, making your plans, focusing on what you want and going after it. And there's nothing can stop you. Here's another good card, the Ace of Wands. And the wands relate to the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They relate to the area of work and progress, movement. And the Ace of Wands is about a new beginning, maybe a new idea with some kind of business. For some of you, this could be a new job you're starting. Or it could also be something like a, um, a promotion, 
of some sort, maybe a transfer that gives you a better a better opportunity, better job. I'm feeling management for some of you. Some of you might be moving into management or you might already be in some managerial position and being elevated from there where you're in even a more take charge position because it's really take charge, strong energy I'm getting here where you're on fire and just moving forward with it. And I feel like you're totally qualified for whatever this is. Some of you could be starting your own business or you already have your own business and you're just really moving full steam ahead and, and just moving forward in a really strong manner at this time that's really benefiting you. And you really feel it throughout your being. Like you've got the determination, the inner drive and strength, the um, enthusiasm for it. It's like you know what you're doing and you're going after it. I'm getting that strong for a number of you Scorpios. And Scorpios are really good because you can really focus. You have the ability to really focus and be very ambitious if you want to be. That's just, I just feel like that's part of Scorpio's innate abilities and um, talents to be able to do that. But this is a really good positive card. I get so much positive energy here. And this is great coming right alongside the magician and the world. And then you've got the Ace of Wands. So if you're starting something new right now, a new project, new job, um, a new business, or revving something up that you already had and getting it moving forward, it's like you've got so much good energy to help drive you along. And so, you know, all you need is the enthusiasm and the determination, the focus, and it's like nothing's going to stop you. So this is really, that's a good combination of cards there. Next card you have is a page of pentacles. And pentacles do relate to the earth signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The page of pentacles, this is relating to some good news for you financially, maybe academically. So uh, for some of you, you might have been waiting on some money. You may have been waiting to find out if you're getting that promotion or that job, maybe a transfer. And that would benefit you, probably pay you more. That's what I'm getting. If it's a job, it's going to be more money than what you were making before or it's going to be better conditions and the money's good or a promotion whatever it is I'm feeling different scenarios for different people that you're getting that good news coming to you or maybe you knew you had some money that was supposed to be coming to you and weren't sure when it was arriving and maybe it arrives in August or you get positive confirmation that it's on its way to you shortly thereafter. Now, for some of you, this could be something academic where you get some good news academically. Maybe you're being accepted into a school that's important for you to attend or something along those lines, or maybe graduating, getting your degree or a certificate. If there was a certificate you needed, that's going to help move you along in your career. It's just, it's something to smile about for a number of you, some kind of good news. Okay, and also the page is now, as a person, a page is usually someone young, maybe in their 20s or 30-ish. And so this, for some of you, could represent a romantic interest that comes along in the month of August. So if you're single and you're in your 20s, 30-ish, if you're in that age bracket, uh, you might want to just be receptive. This person could be around you, possibly in your workplace. If you're a student at school, it might be another student. It could be somebody around where you socialize with your friends also. This person might either be someplace where you're out socializing with friends and see you. Or um, I'm getting workplace scenarios too for some of you. I'm getting different scenarios for different people. But this person is, they're going to be watching you and noticing you and be attracted to you. But B, I feel like the person might come across a little shy. They're not going to assume that you would be interested in them. They might, this person for somebody I'm tuning in for might even be a little younger than you. They might be a few years younger or something, but they're very attracted to you. You just look like a take charge together kind of person. Uh, it could be somebody in the workplace that sees you. They might just be visiting there for some reason, or maybe they work for the same company, but in another area, and they're over in your area at one point. I'm not sure. But um, it, it feels like, and also this person is kind of new in their career. They might just be starting out, or they might still be a student working on getting their degrees, whatever they need. 
to pursue their career. This person will do well for themselves over the long haul. And it's someone who's very honest, down to earth, very steady. But uh, they'll be looking and kind of wanting to approach you, wanting to get acquainted. They would start out just trying to be friends, but they're really romantically interested in you. But they don't want to push themselves. They want to see if you would be interested in them first. Next card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. This is a really nice card. I love this card. Nine of Pentacles is about enjoying your abundance and your prosperity, enjoying your home, uh, being grateful for all the good that you have because you have worked and you've received, um, you've received rewards for your hard work and you like to enjoy the finer things. You might like to enjoy certain little luxuries or bigger luxuries. And so you're going to take some time in August to look around you and, and be grateful for all the abundance and all the good that you have in your life. And so uh, this is a very nice card. And again, I really urge you, if you don't feel like this is you, learn about the law of attraction because this good energy wants you. Okay, so it, it's there for you to um, take advantage of, to use it for your best good. And uh, the more you can identify with feeling prosperous and feeling like you're attracting the good and knowing that you've got a lot to be grateful for, the more the universe opens its doors and creates those circumstances for you. And the more grateful you are about every little thing and every big thing in your life, the more the universe gives you more things to be grateful for and to be appreciative of. So always just be grateful and um, recognize that you're very fortunate in whatever ways. Everybody's got their own areas they can look at in their lives and see what good they have. There's always something good to be grateful for. And so, um, but a lot of you are going to be very aware of that and enjoying what you have. I'm getting vacation again. Some of you just might be on a nice vacation and just be really happy and enjoying yourself and your um, environment on your vacation too. Okay. And then the next card you have is the Seven of Wands. The Wands do relate to the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And now the Seven of Wands is talking about defending your position. So for some of you Scorpios, towards the end of August, you might find the need to defend your um, position. Whether this is at work, you might have competition in the workplace that wants to... Um, it could even be uh, acquaintance, family members arguing over something, wanting you to change your mind about something. It's like you're standing firm. The person standing there, they're not afraid. You know, they're standing there defending themselves. It's like they're not backing down. I'm feeling people, this could be workplace for some of you, where people want you to look at a situation in a different way. And... Um, it's almost like I get some jealousy, but I get some people that want to kind of be in charge and they want you to do things their way. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, maybe you are, uh, haven't been at the job as long as they have. If this is a work scenario and you've got other people trying to, um, and maybe you've just got your own methods and your own way that you get your work done, that you do things or your own opinions or philosophies about whatever. And they're trying to get you to change somehow. I'm getting that for somebody. That might be a few of you also. And for others, I feel like they're jealous of you because they sense that you're rising somehow. So it could be in a workplace situation where you're moving up in your position or you're applying for higher positions or something. And um, they're kind of jealous. It's almost like they would like to, they'd like to sabotage you or undermine you in some way if they can. Yeah, I'm getting these different little competitive jealousy kind of things going on. And some of you, this could be things going on at, in your family life with family members, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, or something like that, wanting to challenge you on something or whatever. You do things their way or go along with them, and you're just standing firm and saying, no, no, I'm not doing that. Which So, you know, it... it, it just 
part of life sometime. Um, the next card you have is the death card. Now this is another major arcana destiny card. And you've got the chariot right alongside of it. So the death card is about the end of certain phases of your life for new beginnings to start. So this is really good because um, there may be relationships that you've been holding on to in your life that are no longer serving you well. There may be for some of you a job situation that you've just been going through the motions and you're miserable at that job and you feel lifeless when you're there. Uh, but you've just been, you, did, you haven't wanted to go to all the trouble of starting over again and finding another job to go to or whatever. I'm feeling some people, some of you might be relocated. You might be moving. It's like the end of a situation of a living arrangement. It could be a job and uh, it's ending either it's en it's ending for whatever reason or maybe you've had a contract to do work for so many months and it's coming to a close or it could be some other scenario where you're leaving that job but it's like it has served its useful purpose it's over and it's time to move on for some of you you might still not be sure where you're going from here and some of you this is like a relationship with a person that you've been in for a while and it's just been again just some lifeless situation like oh what's the use it's, it's been draining you for a good while that's what I'm getting I'm getting that for a few of you at least that there's some circumstance you've stayed in and stayed and past your expiration date like past the due date time to move on and you just know it's going to cause you a lot of trouble to end it start over again and you've just been putting it off, but it's only drained you more to make it harder to get that determination and strength to break free and make a new beginning. Some of you might have just felt like, um, you know, you, you, it's hard to just change your mind about something or get a new attitude to make a new beginning. But that's what's going on here. And sometimes if we are too complacent and keep lingering and lingering someplace when it's past time to go, the universe will squeeze us out of that situation. The universe will close it up to us. Like, okay, no more of that. You've stayed. You've overstayed. You're welcome. You've got to move on. There's bigger and better things out there for you. So whoever might be in this situation, because again, it's a general reading. Some cards may resonate with you while others may not. It's the universe's way of letting you know, hey, it's time to let go. Move on. This situation has crumbled. It's over with. So um, it's laying the way for new beginnings that are better for you. So it's it's growing. We're always changing and growing in our lives. And it's just um, moving on and moving on to something better. And for some of you, it could have to do with your th thought patterns. You know, like if you've had a lot of negative thought patterns and things like that, um, that's not good because it just brings more negativity into your environment and more reason not to be happy. So for some of you, it's changing your thought patterns to something much more um, ambitious and um, proactive and positive and just letting go of the old way. And also, if you've been around people that have been giving you all kind of negative stories or saying, oh, you can't do that or, you know, acting like your dreams and your ambitions aren't going to happen why even bother thinking or planning you know people like that are not are draining your energy also if they're just giving you not supporting your dreams and and helping you to move forward in your life the last card you have is a chariot and this is another major arcana destiny card and the chariot this is about taking charge and propelling yourself forward in the chariot the chariot is not going to move for you by itself. The chariot, again, similar really to the a magician. You've got what it takes to get to your goals, to make your dreams come true. You have it. It's already innate inside of you. You have to get focused, get determined. Don't be waiting on anyone or anything to um, accompany you. Because I'm feeling for some of you, you're waiting on somebody or something. It's almost like, yeah, I'm ready to go, but I'm waiting on this person or this situation or whatever. And what I'm getting here is no, don't wait. Focus, look straight ahead, 
and start moving forward. For some of you, you might be waiting on somebody you were having some romantic relationship with and waiting to see if they're going to, maybe this person at one time was coming on strong with you and then lately they've been acting like they're not sure what they want or they're distracted or they have to go somewhere and not be available a while, just kind of leaving you on hold, that type of thing. Not being straight up front with you and say, look, I've got, I'm kind of distracted. I'm not really in love with you. Um, but in the meantime, they don't tell you that. They're just leaving it, late, letting you sit there waiting on them. And so when people are, because you have to look at people's actions, never mind their words, because they, maybe they say one thing, but they're doing another. Pay attention to their actions. If somebody really wants to be with you and they care about you, they're going to make things work out so they can be with you. Or if they can't be with you temporarily, they're going to give you the reason why. They're going to be in, in touch with you. I'm feeling for somebody, this might be a few of you, that you've been waiting on somebody before moving full steam ahead in your life. You're kind of distracted by this situation. And life is moving on. You know, you don't want to waste valuable time because you've got so much resources inside of yourself, so much available to you that the universe is offering you that's there for you to take charge, move forward. If somebody decides they're interested later and they want to catch up with you, fine. Why wait around for them, you know? You, you don't need that. You're not someone who needs to have someone, you know, you can be strong on your own. You're very, uh, Scorpios have a lot of inner strength and determination too. So that's what I'm getting from this card. But it's all about you focusing forward, getting that chariot in drive, get it out of neutral, and move it forward. Propel it forward with your determination, your desires, your goals and taking action, whatever action, little by little. You just take a little at a time. You can't always just make a, a giant leap. Sometimes you just got to go small steps at a time, but then but you get to your destination regardless. So um, uh, that's the message of this card here. Okay, now this deck I've been using, this is the Gilded Tarot by Shiro Marchetti. And then what I want to do is pick a card from the uh, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins for you next. And if you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And when you subscribe, be sure and hit the notification bell so you will be notified as I post new videos. If you have subscribed already, I thank you for your subscriptions. Um, feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. Also, check your rising and moon sign videos. Most of them are there now. There's one more video I still need to do. So most of the other ones are already there. So check your rising and moon signs. There may be mes messages and insights that resonate with you on those. Okay, so magical mermaids and dolphins. What's your message for Scorpio for August 2019? And um, depending on your date of birth, if you were born on a cusp, you, that's another sign you could check also if you were born on the cusp of another sign to see if anything resonates with that one as well. Okay, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, what is your message for Scorpio for August 2019 for Scorpio? Okay, let me give it another shuffle and I'll fan these out. And if anybody would like, a private reading. My rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, let's see. What is your message for Scorpio? Magical mermaids and dolphins. Okay, this one says yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Well, Scorpios are very intuitive, so that makes sense to me. This is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. I like that. Okay, next I'm going to pick one card from Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield with artwork by Josephine Wall. Okay, so what's the message for Scorpio for August 2019, Scorpio? What's the message for Scorpio for August 2019, Scorpio? What's the message for Scorpio, August 2019? Okay, 
give it one more shuffle, and I'm going to fan these out and pick a card from this stack here. Hmm, this sounds good. Okay, this one says empowerment. That's number 45. I'll look it up in the booklet too, but I want to show you the beautiful imagery. I don't know if you can see all the details, but there's so much detail in each of these cards. So much details of nature, nature scenes. The more you look at them, the more you see. They just go look at the sun there. Gorgeous. It looks like the sun is going, is, is it slipping behind the moon? Like when you have an eclipse, that's what it reminds me of in that image. All the clouds look like lightning coming out of her hair. Oh yeah, is that a little boat being tossed in the water there with people in it? It's so much here. Okay, let me, you can see people and animals. Let me look this one up. This is number 45. Okay, empowerment. Okay, let's see. Number 45. Well, that should be one of the not one of the last ones. Let's see. Okay. Empowerment. The moment for respect for life and all living things. Attuning to nature and to the creatures of the earth is at hand. Tune in to the deep well of compassion that spills over readily to anyone who needs your help. You are being directed to take action to remove difficulties and resolve problems. Be receptive to guidance from wherever it happens to come. Don't be surprised to receive support from unusual avenues. Be alert to seemingly random input which will give you clues and ideas that had not occurred to you earlier. Once you have picked up these signs, pursue them diligently and with determination. The potential for them to pay off is immense. As soon as you know what action to take, take it. Well, that's interesting. Okay, good message. All right, and last but not least, I'm picking one card from the Archangels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. So, Archangels, what is your message for Scorpio for August 2019? What's the message for Scorpio for August 2019? Scorpio for August 2019. Okay, I'll give it one more shuffle and fan these out. What's the message for Scorpio for August 2019? Okay, this one says passion. Hmm. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. I think this ties in too with the reading. This is a good message. Passion. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Great cards. You've really got some good cards. I hope you're happy with your reading this month, Scorpio. My moon is in Scorpio. I like it. <laughs> so anyway, be sure and check your rising and moon signs to see if any messages resonate with you in those videos. And feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. If anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. So thank you for watching my video and have a wonderful August.